Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the game of. I'm your host, Gamer K, and it's finally time to end a bi monthly. Wait. Yeah, bi monthly tradition I've been doing on the game hub for about three years now, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, three years. I started doing Tales from the Convention as kind of a pastime because during lockdown, I was missing. All the con I was missing conventions during that time. I missed being around my friends and other geeks, meeting celebrities, having fun. So I created Tales from the Conventions as a bi-monthly video in with my other scheduled videos. Just as a little thing to talk about all the amazing, all the celebrities I've met, all the experiences, all the stories. And no, it is not a way to brag, but... In my 10 years of doing conventions, from the start when it was my local Comic-Con here at my Center of the Arts for my college, to going to Fan Expo, London, Detroit, and going to all these big ones. I'm never going to New York Comic-Con or San Diego Comic-Con because I'm not crazy enough to go through all that. But it's the last one of the year because in as I normally do in December, I only do three videos, not including a Tales from the Convention, because I want Christmas time to be with my family and friends if whenever I can. And since it's villain month, I decided to do one of a guy who has voiced so many prolific villains with his voice. I love a good voice in a character can basically mean you know the actor immediately and know their body of work instantly. So, this is one from 2018. Not my local convention. Oh, God. For those of you who may know him, you either know him as the, the Candyman can. To voicing the cybernetic fallen that is an old prime from Michael Bay. To voicing the evil speedster of Blue Lightning. To voicing Marvel video games infamous symbiote menace. I am talking about a man who has voiced villains with his gritty voice. But in truth is an absolute gem. I am talking about the one, the only, Tony Todd. And, ah, oh, meeting him was a joy. Me and my sister got into The Flash a good number of years ago, kind of after it was a little in the halfway mark, same with all the other uh, uh, DC Arrowverse shows. We still have yet to finish them. Life gets in the way, you guys know. But after hearing that he was going to be there, I had to sing my praises to him, as I always do with the celebrities. And this was 2018, which means I met this dude before he was released as Venom. Before... Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I just had to do a little bit of fact-finding. So, I met Tony Todd the month or so before Sp Marvel Spider-Man was released. So, I met Venom before the game was even finished, released, and before number two was even... even... D d d was basically cast. So, yeah... That was awesome. If I could go back in time and just mess with him a little bit, saying, as I love your voice, it would be great as Venom. I wish I could. But I got something a little bit better. I'm going to be... Uh, I asked him to get season two of The Flash sign because Zoom, great, great villain. That's one thing I love about the, the Arrowverse shows. What they do with villains is, okay, sometimes they're hit and miss, but sometimes, like Zoom, they are fantastic as hell. And he did sign this to my sister and me, so I'm going to cover up my sister's name, because 
This is my YouTube. I don't want her associated with this at all because of reasons. So it says there, never stop running. Tony Todd, and I think there's the lightning bolt symbol right down there. He is one, like, here's something that a lot of people need to know. A celebrity, a voice actor, an actor, no matter what roles they do, doesn't mean they are like that character. Like when I met Tom Wilson, who vo who plays Biff, absolutely sweet guy, very, very good guy. And if you guys haven't seen that uh, video that he's done of his song about stop asking the questions... Uh, he does love it when, he does love it when people at conventions love his work, but when he's out on the streets, I, I get it. But overall, Tony Todd was fantastic. Sweet. He was very, very caring. Like when he was, when I asked him, like when I showed him what I was getting signed, he said, and he did the zoom voice and it scared me a little bit. He asked me, how did you like my, how did you like zoom? And I'm like. Definitely one of the best villains I saw. And he was so kind about it. I, I told him, like, me and my sister love the show. We still have a lot of catching up to do. But as far as villains go, Zoom is definitely in my top. For, for the Arrowverse show, Zoom is definitely in my top 10, my top 13 list. Maybe after I finish the shows, I'll do a list of that. Maybe. But he was such a good, gracious man. He he asked, "Have you know? Did you know any of my other works?" And I said, "A, a little. Like I know, like I knew. I know that you're the Candyman in like the horror movie." And he says, "Oh, you're not a horror fan." I'm like, "Not really. No. Like I I I, I enjoy like um, villains, but uh, horror stuff is a no for me. But I loved you as the Fallen in Transformers, like." It was so it was so cool to see a villain that I'm not so used to because again, comic books and all that stuff for lore is not my thing. But he loved my appreciation for the roles and he he signed it for me and my sister and I mean she wasn't there at that day so I got it signed and he basically after I left I said it was an honor me like I always say it's an honor to meet the celebrities I meet because these are the people who made up my life, who made up my geekiness as a child and as a teenager and into my adult and my adulthood. So I got to give respect to where it's deserved. And he literally said to me, and keep in mind, the candy man, the fallen zoom venom told me, God, may God bless you in your life and your sister too. I was not expecting such a very wholesome uh, send-off, uh, whatever. I don't know how to say it. But, yeah, Tony Todd. If you ever, if you're a Candyman fan, if you're a fan of Zoom the, from The Flash, or any of his other roles, Venom included, if you ever have the chance to meet this guy at a convention... It's 100% worth it. Great man. Great attitude. And honestly, the experience went by so quick. You could say it zoomed by. Really? You had to, ins you had to make me do a dumb joke in this video? Well, thank you. I'll make sure not to ask for your help next year. Well, that's all I got to say about that. Tony Todd, again, it was an honor to meet him. An absolute blast. And an absolute jaw drop when I found out he was voicing Venom. God. Well, that's it for this late Tales from the Convention, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining in. Like, comment, subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in January where 2025, many more convention tales will be coming and hopefully some new ones can be added through my convention for next year. This is Gamer K, logging out.